Hey third grade, it's Mrs. Farr and I'm going to do a little public service announcement for passwords. We're going to have a little digital citizenship lesson and talk about the importance of passwords. I know we've had several digital citizenship lessons over the years and digital citizenship. Let's talk about that for a second. What does that mean? That means how we act when we're online. The behaviors that we have and creating a password is very important because as you know you already have passwords and you're already being asked to create passwords especially for rapid identity is one of them a good example you probably have other passwords for maybe other gaming systems at your house or for your device here I have my phone you might not have a phone yet but I have a password on my phone to protect it I have an iPad, you might have a tablet at home. I have a password on it to protect it. My computer here has a password. Anything that has important information that I think is worth protecting needs a password. Okay, so we're going to be talking about creating passwords today. How can we create a strong password to help protect our privacy? So, I don't know how you've created your rapid identity password. I bet your parents gave you some um, tips or your teachers or your teachers in the classroom, but you need to, you know, be able to create a password that you're going to be able to remember and, um, and something that you're going to use because you're going to be using it over and over and over again. So, <clears throat> how do we create one? We're going to look at defining what the word password means and describe its purpose. We're going to understand why a strong password is important and more, and you can, you know, start practicing creating memorable passwords and make it a good strong one so that people can't guess it. Password. It's a secret string of letters, symbols, and numbers that you can use to restrict who has access to something digital. Now, you want to use something that you don't think other people are going to guess. You're not going to want to use your name. You're not going to want to use your address. You might not even want to use um, your birth date. People, some people may already know your birth date. You want to use something that is completely unique and different, and it's going to be very hard for people to guess. So here's a, some, here's a couple examples that I came up with. Let's pretend that you're, you're really, you really like video games. Maybe you're a video game person. So here I created this password where um, the password is video gamer three because I put three because maybe I have three different systems. Like I have a Wii, a Switch, and an Xbox. So I was like, well, I've got three different things at home that I, so see how I'm starting to like trying to think of things to have a nice strong password and something that I'm going to remember. And then it's always nice to put a symbol at the end. And maybe I love video games so much, I give an exclamation point. So this is a good example of a nice strong password. Down here, um, I used Duff, but I kept it in lowercase letters on purpose because passwords are, um, they're, they're letters, they're capital sensitive. So um, if you're going to use a capital letter, you always have to use a capital letter. If you're going to use a lowercase letter, you're going to always use a lowercase letter. So it's cap sensitive. So here I put Duff, and then let's say I really like cheerleading. So then I did a capital C, lowercase. I did a pattern, capital E, lowercase, capital R. And then um, I just liked the money symbol. And maybe I did six because I have, you know, been on six different cheerleading teams. So. You just want to start thinking about, like, how can I create a password that I'm going to remember? Something that means something to you. You can even use a phrase where you can group words together that are easy to remember. So this was my example. Joy to the world. I love Christmas, so I love singing that song at Christmas. So I put joy to the world, and then I added the Christmas date, and I added an exclamation mark because I, I'm excited about Christmas. So then my password, I use the letters from joy, I have a J, T for two, T for the, 
W for world, and then I spelled out world, and then I put the date, 1225, and an exclamation point. And that might be, if I really love the song Joy to the World and Christmas, that would be a great way to remember that password. Skippy John Jones, I picked good old Skippy. He's one of my favorite characters. And so this one, I did an S for Skippy, an underscore, not a space. It's a little symbol next to the zero. And then I did a J for John, an underscore, and then I spelt out Jones. And then I put 2021 because I am pretending that that's the first time I had read his book. I've read his book before 2021, but I put 2021 and then I put the fun at symbol. So you, that that's a nice, strong password. So here are some tips to remember when making passwords. Start with a memorable phrase. That might be a good idea. Only your parents should know your password. That is important because your parents can write it down and put it somewhere safe. If you're at school and you're doing your rapid identity passwords, it's okay to share that with your teacher because then she can help you, um, you know, in case you forgot it. And also, if you ever forget your password at um, with Rapid Identity, your teacher can reach out to me or you can reach out to me and I can reset them for you. I can give you a generic um, password and then you will um, enter it and then reset it. And some of you have already had to do that a couple of times. But never use any private identity information in your password. So you don't want to use your name. You don't want to use your birthday. You want, don't want to use your address or your parents' phone number. You want to use, um, inform, you can use information about you, like, you know, like, like I said, like video gaming or cheering or dancing or maybe your favorite pet, but you don't want to give away information that can totally identify you. Create passwords with at least eight characters. So you need to have at least eight letters or numbers or symbols in your password. And the last thing, use letters, numbers, and symbols in your password. That's gonna make a nice, strong password. We care about you, we care about your privacy. If you have any questions about creating a password, um, let me know. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. And you know, share this information with your parents and um, let them know what you learned today about creating passwords. And, um, you know, you might want to check on them and your parents, too. Tell them what you learned because they might need some help on creating some strong passwords. And now you're a little expert. Have a great day.